Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Dr. Gomati. In this video, we are going to see what is the difference between options and enum. I hope you are aware of the two different types of data type which is available in Business Central. One is an option and second one is enum. I'm sorry, enum is not a data type. It's a it's an object basically we have to create it as an object and we can use it as a data type so here you can see that this is an option okay this is an enum of course both look same similar that is it is showing as a drop down but it has its own uh, functionalities it has its own features so we are going to discuss about that Okay, so the first one is what we can just compare first understand what is the definition for both enum data type is a set of named values enum is also not considered as it's considered as a both data type and an object. Okay, like as we create a table page in business central likewise we have to create enum in business central as an object before using that. But options is a data type which we can directly use it. It's a data type which is a set of numbered values. Don't confuse numbered values in the sense it's not mandatory that you have to give the number in storage. While it's storing, it will be considered as a numbered values. Next one in terms of value mapping. So enum values are mapped to integer values automatically by the system. So for example, 0, 1, 2, it will be automatically mapped by the system, whereas option values are assigned numerical values manually. Next one is type of values. So enum values or text values, don't con confuse even we can give the numbers, okay, like uh, here. In enum value, like in enum, the values will be text values. Okay, option in option, we can also give the text and the numbers. Visibility enum values are visible in the code, while options are not visible in the code. So, enum you have to define as a separate code. Okay, I'll show you everything, don't worry. Usage is what enum data types are commonly used for defining a set of related options that are used across different tables. So for example, if you have created an option in a table, that option can be used only in that specific table because option is a data type. Whereas enum is an object, if you have created this object, you can use you can use that in any table, any page, any code unit. Okay, likewise. So that is what usage, if you created a enum, you can use it anywhere but if you have created an object data types that you have to use it in the specific particular object only i'll show you like how to create an object uh, sorry how to create an option in table page okay how to create an enum in table and page so if you take naming convention it usually suffix with enum okay and options will have the suffixes option and in terms of other important differences like performance, okay, enum and option data types have similar characteristics as they both use fixed sets of set of values. The storage size and retrieval times for both types are usually the same as they both are used to store the integers. I'm talking about it will store the integers as a backend, like in the backend, it will be stored as an integer. In terms of usage, enum data type are typically used for fields that have a small fixed set of values that are shared across different tables and objects in business central for example an enum data type may be used to define a set of payment terms or a shipping method that is used across the object so if you take a payment term payment term like quarterly or uh, half early or something so you will be creating it under an enum and you can use the same enum for uh, uh, pages tables and everywhere now, there is no requirement for creating an object for every individual uh, uh, every individual table and object okay on the other hand option data types are typically used for fields that have a fixed set of values that are specific to the particular table or an object for example an option data type may be used to define a set of categories for the pro products that are sold by a particular company why because see if i am uh, if i am owning a um clothing company okay so my categories of product will be different and if someone is owning um chemical uh, co company so their products will be different so in that case i don't want that product to in my uh, object right so that is what the difference so let us see how to declare this both okay uh, so first one is i have created a simple object page so don't worry i'll also show you how to create it in the table as well okay so i have created a simple page and also also, I have created the enum. 
okay so how you have to create an enum uh, just i'll just show you i'll just create it um this is what so t enum so you can just go ahead with um create okay new file um probably okay um we can do like payment methods method dot al so i have created a payment method dot al so you have to start with tenum okay if you just type tenum you can see the snippet here by default uh, anyhow for every object you have to give the object id am i right so here also you have to give the object id 50102 some object id and the name for the enum like payment type okay payment method or payment type payment method or payment type okay and here you can see that um, this one is very very important that is extensible properties should be true so that you can access this enum from everywhere so this should be true okay and next one the value you can add the value here payment method uh, cash okay and then next one is you can start with the value first one and what is the method card okay then you have to open and close the uh, uh, curly braces value to and uh, gp or upi okay so here you can do like this so this is how you can create a enum okay so let me see what is the error okay so this is the error so you have to leave the semicolon okay so this is i have created the enum now okay so here you can see then you have to call this enum so how i have called this enum so you can create a variable here payment method payment okay and you have to start with an enum so of course here if you are using enum this is an data type and if you are creating like this, this is an object so that is why you i told like enum is a object which has to be so and what is the a thing like payment method right so payment method you can see it's an enum so it is created it is called now okay so here you can save it and here you can come and what is the thing like you have to create a field field and this is the payment payment and you have to go with application area is equal to all whatever the thing you can do and caption is equal to payment okay so this is how the enum works but what what about the option so see option i have created the option gender option and near the option itself i have to give whatever the option you have for example prefer not to say if you want to go with the prefer not to say then you can also add that but if you are leaving some spaces you have to give inside the double quotation so that is the thing okay so this option i have directly created i haven't created any object specifically as an option i have directly created a data type here uh, and for that data type for the option i have created the option member okay and simply you have to create the field for that that's it now this is for page okay let us see how to create this for an table for a table okay if you take if you wanted to add this for the table then you can see here that how you can you have to create so here you can see that this is a table okay and if i wanted to add the payment method here okay field a9 okay payment method and option if i give like option here then inside this i have to give what option members okay and inside the option member i have to say it's a cash it's an upi or it's um, um card payment like that okay this is what this is what is the how this is how the option is different like uh, it is declared differently in the object you are using if you are using it in the page then you have to declare it likewise if you are using in the um table you have to declare likewise okay so if you are creating here in the table here see understand the difference i haven't called uh, this particular page okay anywhere okay i haven't called this page okay this i haven't called this table as a source table for this page okay i'm directly just creating and showing it if you are 
making this table as a source table then you don't want to create the separate variable here i hope you all know that you can directly access that as a record okay so this is how you can create um, a table um, that is the enum and options in the table so enums can be extensible extendable okay so for example if i wanted to add some more uh, uh, options to this okay you can also add to this even you can extend the enum that is possible like how we will do table extension how we will do page extension can also extend the enum but that is basically not possible with the options that is what the major difference here i hope you got a better idea about what is the difference between enum and the um, options which we are using and how we it differs in creating it okay and also in the table if you are trying to access the enum so you can see here you have to call like this directly in the table okay so a status enum and near that enum this is the object name or a, a, a data type name data type and this is the name of the enum which you have to call it okay i hope you got a better understanding of the difference if you have any queries please leave that in the comment box if you have any suggestions or anything to convey that to me please let me know i can definitely help you out thank you take care bye bye